In this video, I will be showing how to balance chemical equations. So when you're looking at, when you're looking at chemical equations, you have two sides. You have the elements, the chemical compounds on one side and the chemical compounds on the other side. On one side, you have the reactants. The other side, you have the product. So basically, when you're balancing chemical equations, the first thing you need to do is list the elements on each side. That will help you in order to balance it. So I have an N over here. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put N. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So make sure they're lined up. So I'm going to come over to my product side and I'm going to put an N. So N equals... N equals. I also see that I have an H. So under the N, I'm going to put an H on both sides. N, H, N, H. So now that I have them lined up, now I have to put how many each element has. So I count how many each one has. So for N, I see two. So I'm gonna come to my N on this side and I'm gonna put a two. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. If there is no number in front of it or be directly behind it, it means it is one. So I'm gonna put a one for my N on this side. Now for my H's, for my H on the left, I see two, so I'm gonna put a two. For my H on the right, however, I see three. This is all one, this is combined. If it's, unless it's separated with like a plus sign or parentheses, if it's like this, it's combined. So for the H, I have three, so I'm gonna put a three. Now, I have two ends, now I have to balance it. I have two ends on the left side and I only have one on the right side. So I need to get two on the right side. So basically you could look at it like this. Two divided by one is gonna give me two. So if I put a two up there, now, you're basically multiplying and dividing, or you could just put multiplying if you wanna say it like that. So now I'm gonna multiply two times all of this right here. So two times N would give me two. So now I'm gonna cross this one out and make it a two. Two times H3 is going to give me six because it's two times three equals six. So now I have six H's. So I'm gonna cross the three out and make it a six. So now let me look at my numbers. I have, I have two ends on this side and now I have two on this side, but now I have six H's on the right and two on the left. So I need, how do I get six on the left? So basically again, I can go six divided by two would give me three. So I'm gonna put a three in front of the H2. And now I'm gonna multiply everything out. Three times H2 would give me six. So I'm gonna cross this two out and make it a six. So now let me, now let's look at the numbers. I have two ends on the left. I have two on the right. I have six H's on the left and six on the right. So now this would be a balanced equation because all the elements are equal on each side. Now we're gonna try a longer equation. So first thing you need to do is identify the elements on each side. So you're gonna list the elements first. So first I see a AL, so I'm gonna come down AL that's aluminum. I see a O. 
I see an H. I see another H, but since if you already have an H listed, since that's all one element, you don't have to write it twice. I see a C. And I see another O. So again, if it's already listed, you don't have to list it twice. So now I'm going to put equals for all of them. Now I'm going to come on the other side and do the exact same. But remember, make sure they're the exact same lined up. So I'll go come to my reactant side. I'm in my product side. AL. O. H. And C. So now I just need to go through and count how many each element has. So let's look at AL first. I don't see any number directly behind AL. So AL would be one. Let's look at O. I see an O right here, but it's in a parentheses. Whenever you have a number inside the parentheses, you multiply everything inside that parentheses by that number. So it's a three on the outside, so three times O. If it's no number in front or behind the O, it's considered one. So basically one O times three would give me three O's, but I also have a plus sign right here. So I also, this is all one side of the equation. This is all on the reactor side. The arrow separates the two sides. So if I have a plus, I'm adding it together if it's the same element. So since I have a O3 over here, O3 plus O times three will give me O6 because three plus three. So now I have six O's on the left side. Now I'm gonna come to my H's. I see a H in the parentheses, remember, Again, anything in the parentheses is multiplied. So three times H, which is one, would give me three. Plus, I have H2 over here. So three plus two would give me five H's on the left side, which is the uh, reactant side. So now let's look at the C's. This two, even though it's in front of the C, this is the, these are called subscripts. The little small numbers behind the elements, those are called sub subscripts. The numbers that with the bigger numbers that we put in front, those are called coefficients. Since it is a two in front of the C, but the two is actually with the H. So the C is basically one because it's no number directly in front or behind it. So for C, I'm gonna put one. So now I'm gonna come over to the other side. For AL, I see a two. So I have two ALs on this side. Now let's look at, again, we going in, I'm going how I lined up my elements. So for O, I see O3 in parentheses. So remember, everything in the parentheses is multiplied by the number outside of the parentheses. So for O3, three times three is nine plus it's an O in H2O, so nine plus one gives me 10 O's. So now let's look at my H's, and I only have two H's. For the C's, I have a one C in the parentheses, so one C times three will give me three C's. So now I'm ready to balance it. And I know you, when you first look at it, it looks, oh my God, it, it looks so difficult. But if you can get, first off, you, it's easier to look for ones that have a one because it's, it's easier to multiply and divide those numbers as opposed to you having six O's on this side and 10 on this side. What's going to give you 10 by looking at the six and the 10 is harder to figure that out. So look at the numbers where it's one and a number. So for this one, I'm gonna look at the C's. I have three C's on the right and one on the left. So what, could I, what I can do is three 
divided by one is gonna give me three. So again, this is all one chemical compound right here. These are all together. So I can't just put a three in front of the C. I have to put it in the very front. And once I put it in the very front, that three goes with everything. So now I have to take the three and multiply by all of this. So three times H2 would give me six plus this H times three would give me nine. So now I got to cross out my five and make this a nine. Three times C, which is basically three times one, would give me three. Three times O3 would give me nine plus O times three is three. So now I have 12 O's. So I cross the six out, make it a 12. So now you see my numbers are bigger and, and they look way off. So now what can I look at? Let's look at the AL. I have two ALs on this side and only one on this side. So I could go two divided by one would give me two. So I could put a two in front of the AL. So now let's multiply it all out. Two times AL would give me two. So cross out the one, make it a two. Two times O times three. So, or you can do O times three times two. So two times O, because remember all of this is together. So you have to multiply the two times all of this. So two times O would give me two. Then times three would give me six. Plus the three times O three. So three times O three is nine plus six would now give me 15 O's. So I got to cross the 12 out now and make it a 15. So now two times H is two times three is six plus three times H2. So that's six H's on this side and six H's right here. So six and six give me 12. So now I have 12 H's. I'll cross out the nine, make it a 12. So now let's look at it. The, look at the 15 and the 10. I can't do anything with that. The three and the three are the same. The two and the two are the same. But the 12 and the two, I can do something with that. So basically I can take 12 divided by 12 divided by 2 would give me 6. So I could come over here and put a 6 in front of the H. So now I can multiply that 6 times this right here. 6 times H2, 6 times 2 would give me 12. So now I come to the H, cross the 2 out, make it a 12. 6 times O, which is basically 6 times 1, 6 times O gives me 6. Plus three times O oh, three times three. Three times three is nine. So nine O's right here plus six O's over here gives me 15. Nine plus six is 15. So I can cross out the 10 and make it a 15. So now let's look at my uh, numbers on each side. I have two L's on this side, two L's on this side. I have 15 O's on this side, 15 O's on this side. I have 12 H's on this side, 12 H's on this side. I have three C's on this side and three C's on this side. So this would be how you balance that equation by putting a two in front of the AL, a three in front of the H2, and on the reactant side, I mean on the product side, a six in front of the H2O. So that would be how you balance that equation. Thank you.